Yo, what's up everybody? Hades here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get one of the new 9.1 mounts, the Fallen Charger. Before we get into it, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that like button, and maybe that notifications button so you don't miss a video. Let's get into today's guide. I am Hades. Okay. Getting into it, let's start talking about the spawn location and the spawn timer. So, the spawn timer, this rare has a 1-6 to six hour spawn timer. So you could either be waiting very, very long, or it's going to come very fast. My personal suggestion, while I farm this mount, what I do is I go into the looking for group finder. I go into the custom tab, and then I'll type in fallen charger. There are a lot of groups who are looking for this mount. So it will be easy to find one and also you may even find one that has the charger already up so it saves you the time of waiting. When the charger does spawn, it's going to have a zone wide announcement for everybody in the mall and it will basically say in the announcement an ear splitting whiny echoes across the mall as the fallen charger begins its ride. So that's how you're going to know it is spawned and also on the map, a big star will be on the map always showing its location when it's alive. Once the charger has spawned, it's going to have two paths. It can either go the pink path, where it will go up through the Tremaculum, down to Venari's Refuge, and through the Beast Warrens. You don't want it to get to Corthea, because once it reaches Corthea, that's it. It's going to despawn. The, the second path it will take is from the Crucible of Dam, the yellow. It will go down to Peridition Hold, through to the Beast Warrens, and through to Corthea again. You don't want it to hit Corthea, because it will despawn. And if you get to the more as it's despawning, another zone-wide announcement will happen. The Fallen Charger releases a final mournful whinny as it fades away. If you see that, again, game over. Find another group or wait another one to six hours. Okay, here is what to expect when the rare spawns. The, the rare's health is 1.5 million and it scales pretty significantly with more people joining the group. So you are going to need a group to take this on. The Fallen Charger has four abilities. Fallen Riders, Headbutt, Swiftness, and Crushing Hooves. Basically, Fallen Riders is an ability that summons fallen souls of the people who have failed to tame the Charger. And what it does is it will fix, have a random fixate upon random players. If the Rider does reach its target, it will explode, significantly dealing a lot of AoE damage, which you do not want. As for Headbutt, Headbutt deals damage and it's a knockback, so if you're close to an edge, don't let it hit you with Headbutt because you'll fall off the more. The ability Swiftness increases the movement speed of the Fallen Charger by 25% for 20 seconds. This can be interrupted, so if you see it, interrupt it because you don't want the Charger running off. And Crushing Hooves, well Crushing Hooves causes the target to take 20% increased damage for 24 seconds. So try to stay out of that or have a tank take it. Okay, so from spawning to end, the Fallen Charger Patrol takes about 4-5 to five minutes if not encountered. And if it hits its uh, final destination, it will despawn. And that's basically it for this guide. It is very simple. It is an awesome addition to the 9.1 patch. If you do manage to get this mount, because it is an extremely rare mount, I would love to see a screenshot. So take a screenshot, throw it in the comment section below so you can, you know, sort of brag to the community and I can congratulate you because I love when... I see people get mounts. As much as it makes me jealous, I get really happy as well because it gives me faith that I have a chance. <laughs> but that all being said, if you found this guide helpful or just genuinely love my content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated by myself and it does help my channel grow a lot. With that all being said, my friends, I'll see you all in the next video. Happy mount farming. Take care.